Namaste, and welcome to Namaste Today in the Zodiac Weather. My name is Christopher Otecki, your sensei to serious joy, and I am so grateful you've clicked on this video to watch and share the light between each other's eyes. It is now Thursday, August 21st, 2014, and Earth, Mother Earth, rules the day. What does that mean anyways, Christopher, when Earth rules the day or that rules the day? How do you determine that? Well, I'm going to show you a little bit of how I determine that today. But you need to know that today, with Mother Earth ruling the day, what you be is what comes. So we want to be what our heart's desire is today because with Mother Earth's help, it will come. And I'm going to explain some of the law of attraction and how it works in today's video because I want to start to get some of this information out there. It's super exciting. And in the Sensei Sunrise, we'll talk about the posture to take in order to law of attract. A lot of people, what's the posture? I'll tell you. However, first, we need to tame our brain with the phrase of the day. Now remember the phrase of the day is designed to help you when your brain starts going back and forth and you want to get off course. This is when you come back to the phrase of the day and you tell the brain this is the way it is. And today, I trust my decisions, I allow my feelings to flow. I trust my decisions, I allow my feelings to flow. So we're not going to allow ourselves to go off course because we already made some decisions and we let our feelings flow and by letting your feelings flow as long as they're within within your decisions you've made we allow because emotion is actually the secret ingredient to law of attraction our feelings this is how you can elect a president that has a sordid past or who isn't an intellect because people really do decide with their feelings so how we feel about something is what we agree with our fellow brother and sister because we feel the same about this or we feel the same about that. We don't always necessarily believe the same things you notice, but we feel a certain way. And you have that with nationalism and you have that with certain races and you have that in certain religions where they all feel the same way. That's part of why they're all in that group together. So in order to law of attract what we want, we have to trust our decisions already. If you don't trust your decisions, go back, meditate with yourself, come to your decisions, rinse and repeat, and come back to the table. I trust my decisions. I allow my feelings to flow. And we'll talk about in Sensei Sunrise just why we do that. So today, whoops, that's the wrong button. Today, the serious step of the day is step 28. And that is the basis and the principle of manifestation. 28, emotions next to decisions. Emotion next to decision. That's what two and the eight is. And when emotion and decision stand side by side, you get a 10. 2 plus 8 is 10. What's a 10? I manifest. So when emotions and decisions stand by side, we manifest a little higher. We hold space above us for that to law of attract. And if you want to boil the 10 down, it always comes down to a 1 at the top of the pyramid. You've always seen pyramids with this brilliant light at the top. That brilliant light is your heart, I love, step 1 at the very top of the sacred geometry conscious pyramid of manifestation. It's no accident it's a pyramid, by the way, which is part of the reason why human beings, I think, make pyramids. Now, the joyful prep is step 8, I decide which means that the way we kind of hold posture to receive what we deserve is to rest on our decisions. That is what makes us confident. And the moon today is amped up. The moon is in Mother Cancer, so the earth is purebred today. The moon is purebred today. Ah, God Creator makes the perfect ingredients of consciousness in order to law of attract. But wait, folks, there's more. Let's look at our ruling chakra to understand. So the ruling chakra of the day of I Manifest is the orange chakra, second, the second chakra, orange. And you know what's interesting about chakras? I've never paid attention to this, but orange is what you get when you mix red and yellow. Therefore, your manifestation is the mixture of your ego at the bottom and your thoughts and feelings with the yellow. So when we manifest, we are using all those bottom three chakras. And of course, we're guided by the top chakras but we're manifesting on earth from red, orange, yellow. Those are the colors that make it all happen. So today your gut, the orange, this has to resonate and be free. And you see why we have to have our feelings free. The yellow has to be free and the thoughts have to be free in yellow. Yellow has to feel really good. Red has to be grounded, but we did that yesterday. That was no accident by creator either. And now the orange is I manifest, I bring it in. Now, another interesting point is the sun is in Leo, which means the sun, creator, Ra, that's the actual energy, 
every re beam of light that we are living from comes from that sun. And right now that sun is saying, make the heart chakra brighter. And this is what allows us to steer what we manifest below. So uh, ultimately, I believe that the bottom three chakras should be talking to the heart chakra. And the heart chakra is communicating forward this way. So today, we want to honor that heart, and as the sun moves through Virgo, it will also be highlighting the heart chakra. Both Leo and Virgo states of awareness operate through the heart chakra. We love forward with Leo. We manifest reality through the back of our heart chakra in Virgo. So that's how it's kind of webbed reality together through the heart in that, in that sense as far as our perception of experiencing it, right? So it is a powerful day. It is an I manifest day, and I want to bring up some help from a good friend. We have a super blog called Ideas and Messengers on the SoulGarden.tv site. And there I'd like to point out that I have a new blog pointing out Christopher Master One Feather. He has a new series called Vision, Dreams, and Insights. And he is uh, shooting this ahead in time so you can get an idea more of the energies you're facing as you move forward uh, in life. So he's super helpful. Check out that blog. If you watch Circle of Wisdom, we're off the air for the next two weeks and we'll be back in two weeks. And we're going to change the format a little bit. It's going to be now uh, including people who have different opinions and we want to talk about certain topics. So it's a Circle of Wisdom in a whole different way. And we'll be back in a couple of weeks. Now, looking at what's playing on the mothership at soulgarden.tv, today we're releasing Renegade Aromatherapist. Sadiqa Salter is back with a question and answer episode that helps uh, you through through uh, aromatherapy, which is the plant kingdom. That was the words I was looking for. Through the plant kingdom, <laughs> these are her words I'm quoting, uh, you can actually help shift your reality. And sometimes, you know, the thing about aromatherapy is this, when you're having a hard time letting your feelings flow, that's when Mother Nature is really here to help. Again, Mother Earth. So looking at our planet soup, what is God cooking up today? Well, for one, the sun is at step 28. That means we're almost done with the sun in Leo transit. Tomorrow, step 29, that's the final test. And so we are ready to move on, right? The moon is in Cancer. So the moon emotions are purebred Cancer. The sun is in Leo purebred. These are purebred energies that are helping us manifest. And Mars is now making peace at step 15. So uh, we are being encouraged with our ego to make decisions or take actions that will ensure peace. And then Jupiter is at a big bong step eight. All right. That means that it's time to decide what your heart will no longer deal with. And Jupiter will create around that. And in the zodiac weather, I'll be talking about for each of the 12 signs exactly where Jupiter is saying to draw some decisions and some conclusions. Then finally, we have this wonderful isosceles triangle, also known as a yod. It's a diluted yod between Venus and Jupiter. But Venus today is at step 11. That means as we are cutting off with Jupiter, we are creating and drawing in with step 11 Venus. So again, a very powerful day. And from the combination of Pluto at the bottom there, that means new rules and our psychic insights, the two bottom, come into this new heartfelt manifestation. So it's a pretty powerful time. Now let's take a look uh, at the Sensei Sunrise and let me help you with the posture of today. Whatever it is your heart wants. A lot of viewers are talking to me uh, in the GA Venus room on Facebook and a lot of people are talking to me of course in their readings and whatnot. And from what I can tell commonly with everybody is that this next corner is a blind corner. Nobody can see around what's about to happen. Creator is most certainly saying to us, you must listen to your heart and have faith in that. So coming from the heart, the posture is, what are we, uh, we trust our decisions. And of course, our decisions are based on the heart. So we trust our already heartfelt made decisions. That's the first step of the process. We trust this. We've already decided. And so now we have to accept the fact that it's out of our control. We trust and we want that to manifest. The second is uh, the I love and I trust. So once you uh, trust your decisions, then you go ahead and let yourself feel all this. You let your feelings flow, your love for the idea, how excited you are for what you're manifesting. You let these feelings flow. You let yourself get goosebumps. Okay, and you let this happen. Now, it is this flow of feeling that other people law of attract into. It is the feelings and the molecules of your feelings bouncing off of their feelings. Human beings really relate emotionally, no matter what, even if they act like a, you know, a stoic statue inside, they're like, right? 
So feelings are what happens. So we let these feelings flow so that other people can feel our feelings. That's part of how we collectively manifest together as one. And once we are allowing our feelings to flow, we now love and trust, step 10, that flow. We love and trust that, that flow. And basically, you want to allow your feelings to flow all day long while the earth is manifesting today and ruling. Let yourself feel the excitement. Let yourself feel in love with your life and feel in love with your, where your life is going. And accept the fact that because we've chosen love, we'll be okay. We don't have to see around the blind corner. We don't have to know how Creator is going to do it. We can just know that if we chose what we love and we trust our decisions and we let that flow because we chose love, it won't hurt us. Meditate on that for a minute and I'll see you right after this. Now do remember we have a soulmart.me trading post. If you navigate to soulmart.me, you'll be brought to the mothership and you'll see what we have to offer. For one, the Megascope monthlies are available for rental or immediate download. And these will tell you exactly how to navigate through this last manifestation day and into Virgo. We got a lot of, to do ahead here. I'm also working on the September Megascope. So if you do subscribe to a Megascope, realize you'll see September as soon as it goes live. Also, until the end of the month, boy, we are so close. This is about it. If you buy a one hour reading, with me you get a 30 minute free uh, follow up and I will be kind of uh, shying away from some of this when my artificial intuition technology launches here in a couple weeks so if your heart wants it I would say go for it, or at least manifest it today with the manifestation energy and you want to be an astrologer you want to learn your chart in two hours come on down and see where I am having classes to become an astrologer or to decide if you want to or not all of this and more is available in our cool store soulmart.me but before you navigate to soulmart.me, let's take a look at the moods of each of your brothers and sisters. And also, where the Jupiter at step 8 is turning their heart, starting with the Scorpio, step 0. By the way, these are always in the order of how we stack consciousness in light casting, something different, the path to serious joy. So, step 0 is where we always begin, I protect the Scorpios. Sunny and solid today. Here's their Jupiter 8. I don't do windows, okay? So basically, this is kind of like for their career. It's time to put your foot down and say what you will not do in your career, and I pretty much know Scorpios will not do windows. Step one, the Leos. Cloudy feeling content. Today, their uh, step is I don't do conflicts, all right? And that is just to, once you eliminate your majesty, the conflict areas of your life and get rid of it, you can just love and be shiny and enjoy. So you don't do conflicts, and there's probably other things you don't do either. The Cancer, step two, sunny and cool today with the moon in their sign. Yours is, I don't give it away. No more giving it away, Cancer. I don't care that you are the best breastfeeder on earth. You don't give it away. Talking to a Taurus here, so we love each other. Step three, the Sages, the Archers. Cloudy but feeling solid today. Here's their statement, I don't limit myself with doubts. Wow, think about that. I, do, 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 I don't, do. yes, it's a double negative. It's designed to get in your head. See it again. I don't live in myself with doubts. Do not doubt. Your heart knows the truth. Don't waste time doubting. Step four, the Aquarius is sunny and sensitive. I don't abandon myself. Whoa, that's big, right? No more self-abandonment. No more going off into a weird space zone where you have lost connection to the earth and lost connection to your heart. I don't abandon myself. Step four. Step five, the Geminis. Sunny and manifesting, uh, really probably the most powerful today. So Geminis are really getting what their heart wants today. I am not a robot. <laughs> now I think this is appropriate because sometimes Geminis just get in their heads and start acting like robots. You're not a robot. You're a human being that has really incredible intellect. That's what you are. You are your heart. I am not a robot. That's yours. Step, uh, step six is the Libra's sunny and professional today. Look at this one. I don't blindly react to others. Whoa, that's quantum, isn't it? I don't blindly react to others. Okay, that's because you react to yourself first if you're in the 11 steps of serious toy. Step seven, the Pisces, sunny and childlike today. I don't live in disharmony. 
And believe it or not, Pisces will let themselves get pulled into schools of fishes that aren't fun. But if you say, I don't live in disharmony, then you already live in good water. Step eight, the Capricorn, sunny and sentimental. I don't mistrust myself. Hmm, double negatives here, that's how you manifest. I don't mistrust myself. That's what you are stepping from. Step nine, the Aries, the I X and the I Ms. You are sunny, nesting, and resting today. Here's a big one. I don't abandon my heart. I don't abandon my heart no more. Mm -mm. Aries, don't go running off for some adventure, forgetting what your heart really wanted, or getting tied up in someone else's army. I don't abandon my heart no more. Step 10, the Taurus is sunny and chatty. Can you tell? I don't put family before myself. Whoa. Profound, huh? I think so. Because we are our family. That's what a fourth house transit is. I don't put my family before myself. I put myself first. I am my family. And from there, you go ahead and lean out to the family. No one goes before you. That's what we're learning together, Bulls. And then finally, the Step 11 Virgos. Sunny and social today. I don't doubt myself. I know, that sounds kind of obvious, huh? I don't doubt myself. Say that again. I don't doubt myself. Can you not doubt yourself? That's a real interesting issue. Remember the Light Walker Parade today, following this video, we have the serious step today, step 28. We'll help you with understand the two and the eight energy. Venus Prime Health, we have these cool new segments that fast foods that cause slow death. If you wanna know the true reality, Damon Perry is there to help you out. And don't forget, the Renegade Roman Therapist with Sadiq Salter is live. She has a special question and answers episode. Ah, uh, now we go into the quiet. If you're watching us on YouTube, please be kind and do subscribe to our channel. We appreciate that. And if you want to be our friend, come to soulgarden.me where you can like us on Facebook. And don't forget, soulgarden.tv is the destination where we have all sorts of super blogs and animal blogs. And you can leave comments and I do read everything. So if you want us to get something to me, put it there. So as you go out today, my friend, remember what you be is what comes. So trust your decision. Allow your feelings to flow. And that's what you be an emotional, passionate individual that loves and trusts that what you deserve is coming because you love yourself at the top of the pyramid. And let me know how it goes. I'll be back tomorrow for the special Friday show where we hold that last mile together. Until then, I love you and live, love, be.